This is going to be an energy read into Ruby Frankie, who is the woman from Eight Passengers, the family YouTube channel. She's currently awaiting trial on child abuse charges. And I wasn't really going to touch this one, but um, now she's blaming the kids for the child abuse that she did to them. So we're going to look into this. First things first, what is her energy? This is all alleged, my opinion, not fact. The Leopard King, Sword of Law, Bravery, Self-Discipline, and Faith, but it came out in reverse. She's hiding behind a religious front. Um, whatever it is that she's saying is all to knowingly block the abuse. Um, where is this stemming from? She has a mommy wound for sure, which makes sense ever since... Ever since she began exploring who she was, it was never exploring who am I, it was exploring why does my mom hate me? Um, or some variation of that. What was her childhood life growing up? It does feel like she was kind of in this energy of bossiness as a defensiveness at a very young age because she was always in a state of like self-defense and then I guess the rebel in her broke out at some point she was done carrying that heavy burden I do think that she doesn't even it's one of those like truly believes your own shit. Um, she truly believes that what she's doing is right. Um, and I think it's because her partner supported her through it and didn't call her out. So she was like, well, if this person is going along with it, I must not be that wrong. Manipulation and, de and deception. It's like he was scared of losing what they had built because he knew that she would not stand for someone standing up to her. What's her energy, the husband's energy, energy between? She's coming up with a four of cups. He's coming up as eight of pentacles reversed and the chariot for between. So it's her that's always unexpected, coming out of nowhere, always on edge. Like you never, you always have to walk on eggshells around her. He lets that happen. He doesn't do anything to stop it. He doesn't take that role of protector and they just kind of don't think and just go like this is like I don't think I just go on a whim of whatever I feel like saying or doing um and after I don't really think about it either after I'm actually happy when I see my children upset or hurt because I feel like I made my point yeah, it's a lack of self-love. There's no, she hates herself so deeply, but has to pretend like it's coming from a place of love, which is where the righteousness and religion comes in, yeah. She never had the roots that she tried to dig in front of the world for herself and just failed miserably. It's like, I'm trying to do this thing that I never had an example of, but I'm doing it in front of everyone and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just letting my fear and anger lead. And then every time I take a step forward, because I am a narcissist, yeah, because I am a narcissist, this is like, I refuse to admit it to myself though, but I know I am type energy. Um, it's like, as soon as I take a step in the wrong direction, I immediately come in and convince myself that I'm right. And that fuels me to just run forward in that wrong direction. This is like, I know she's going to try and claim mental health struggles. Um, the fool. She it's not mental health. This is this is conscious decisions that she made. Secrets out. This is constant con conscious decisions that she made. Um constant, I almost said. Constant conscious. Literally it never stopped. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Anything she could take back, especially from her children. It's it's transactional love at its finest. Like 
if I can take back my love from you, I will find any excuse to do that so that you have to fight to earn it back. Yeah. Because I have this demon in me that I don't know how to get out of me. So I'm going to bring everybody else down to this level with me. It's like I trap you in my energy that's low so I'm not here by myself. It's like as a child she was basically emotionally injured and then left by herself and now she's trying to instead of heal herself from the emotional injury because she isn't strong enough or wise enough to to look inside and see that she has a freaking problem allegedly um instead of that her next resort is well I don't want to feel alone like I did as a child so I'm going to bring everybody down here with me the world everybody the whole family i'm bringing them all down to my level just so i don't have to be alone instead of doing the work to elevate myself i'm gonna be comfortable staying here and it's almost like the more hate and negativity she could spew it kept her on that ground level of the negativity and it just like super shot anyone down there with her this is a subconscious mind has taken over completely um, but she's making conscious decisions. Yeah. Her subconscious mind is saying, hey, this is a bad decision. I'm presenting this to you as a bad decision. If you make this decision, things are going to go backwards, not forward. But here's this decision. Would you like to make it? And she's like, yeah, give me. Like, it's weird. It's giving. Um, it's not absent. It, it's giving like. Hit them where it hurts as much as I can. Like incoming energy from her that initially wounded her. And she's retaliating on that initial person, which feels like her mother. Is it her mother? King of Pentacles. So it feels like maybe her father was more in the mother role for her. And that's where the mother wound came from. And she has a mother wound from a masculine energy. Yeah. That's what needs healing. She has a mother wound from a masculine energy. Oh, that's why it's it, it was like when her partner didn't stop her and went along with all this stuff. That's why it increased and got worse and worse and worse because she has a masculine energy mother wound somehow, some way. And her partner was the fruition of like the what she thought would heal that. Yep, King of Wands, Six of Wands, victory because of using this person passionately at my whim. What's her um, husband's energy? Golden Empress. I said she has a masculine energy mother wound and her husband is coming out as the Golden Empress. Yeah, jewel of a beta, the jewel, he's her crown jewel. She was like, look, you are the perfect person to put in this exact role as the person who hurt me. Potency, confidence, and magnetism. I bet you she sought him out and was like, you're the perfect person and I need to have you. That's the type of energy this is. It's like not anything about him as a person, but him fulfilling this role in her life. Yeah, decision you can't go back from. Um, what's going to happen to her? The karma that she dished out for her children, or the pain that she dished out for her children is coming back as karma. In whatever way her worst fear would be, which to me feels like it's probably isolation or just that feeling of I feel all alone. There's the child. I feel all alone. She's going back to basically a permanent state of feeling what her worst trigger or fear is because of what she did to her children. Quickly. <laughs>